But basically, when we talk about biodigesters, what we are saying is that these are simply on site biodegradable toilet waste biodigesters that homeowners can utilize as an organic waste, particularly in animal and human excreta, to produce fertilizer and biogas. Biodigester can give you two outputs. It can be used as a human treatment option, whereby the human waste can be treated, and then the output can be fertilizer or something that you can use to probably do your farm works, or the output can also be a biogas. But in our case, and in the case of Ghana, over the past six years, seven years that we've been using the biodegradable waste biodigester, what we have come to do is to use it for the treatment of human waste in place of the traditional septic tank and the covert system, KVIPs and other traditional ways of human treatment that we have come to know and use. What happens is that when you usually have these human waste treatment systems, especially the septic tanks or the traditional manholes that we had over the years, the human waste and the feces are all together in a holding tank. And then it can be there for a number of years. It could be a month, depending on what type of septic tank that you have. And then after a time, you'll be forced to have it dislodged. Dislodging means that you need a truck that comes and then have it physically removed and sent to a treatment plant or a treatment place or simply dump at anybody's backyard. And that's what we have come to know over the years with some of these human waste treatment options that we, we have. Ever since the biodigesters came, what happens is that it's a simple on-site biodegradable waste toilet. So what that means that instead of having a truck show up to come and collect the human waste, the system can be done for you at the backyard whereby you can treat your human waste at your backyard and then the residue over the years can be taken, a hole can be dug and then it can be left at the backyard of your house. Now, this type of biodigester can digest food scraps and it can digest human waste as well. So the simple on-site biodegradable biodigesters simply treat human solid waste, treat the wastewater and other by powering those natural occurring bacteria mostly found in septic tanks and manholes. So how do biodigesters work? Basically, when you have a biodigester constructed for your house, it can be a three bedroom, it can be a four bedroom, it can be an apartment, it can be a church, it can be a restaurant. I mean, all sorts of places whereby human waste is disposed, biodigesters can treat them. So you have a biodigester done, mostly for the water closet or the flash units in the house. And then the human waste, when it's flash, digesters usually have chambers in them or they must have chambers in them. So what happens is there is going to be a rapid separation of the human waste from the wastewater or the flush unit. The unit flushed, that's the water, will be separated either into a so-called pit, into a drainage system, and into any other option that's available for the treatment of the wastewater. The human waste then remains in the bio digester, as the name suggests, and then microorganisms including microbes and other bacteria will work on it and break it down for easy disposal. So sometimes people ask, why is it that you are using such a small tank for the digester? The understanding is that because you are operating in a oxygen-free environment and the human waste is going to be broken down, there's virtually nothing that's going to be left in the digester. And as such, you do not need a big tank to hold the human waste because the water will be taken out and then stored or disposed of in a separate way. And the human waste that's basically left is what will be in the tank. And then the microorganisms are going to feed on it and they are going to break it down into particles and for easy disposal in the near future. So a typical biodigester can last you five years, it can last you six years. Some might go as much as 10 years, depending on the lifestyle of the users of the property. When I say lifestyle, what I mean is, there are some houses where you go, people do flash pampers, People flash, um, people also flash tissue papers, no, people flash condoms, people flash diapers, and those are inorganic materials. Those are not easily biodegradable, biodigester. So some of those ones will have to be taken out, physically removed from the digester. And sometimes they might clog the pipeways, which will render your biodigester ineffective. So the best way to use a biodigester is simply to flash 
the tissue paper which is biodegradable and then all other materials which are inorganic materials can be stored or can be taken out and put in a different place when you do a biodigester and you have it done in such a way that only tissue paper is what you flush together with the human waste you are guaranteeing the long lasting use of your biodigester the next video that i'll show you give you a clear step-by-step -step guide on how to construct a biodigester